All right, so today we're playing some No Man's Sky. I decided to start building a base on one of the magnificent floating islands that they have available now in the latest update. Man, they look so, so good. So this is going to be the beginnings of the base. You'll see the outer shell just slowly form and it's going to be, it's going to be nice. Yeah, but I have a very funny story for you all. So a few days ago, maybe around like midnight 1 a.m something like that our dog just decides to start barking and if you all watch my streams you know like sometimes our dog barks like at neighbors that you know might come a little bit too close to the house or whatever or a mailman you know usual dog things our dog doesn't just bark at night for no reason so my girlfriend gets up first and she's like oh you know it's all good whatever whatever there's nothing to be worried about and like i hear this and i'm like is it is there nothing to be worried about i i get up and i go to the front door which is not technically front door but you'll see why and i start listening and as i start listening there's some like shuffling at the butt and like in our basement i'm like hmm that is unusual and our dog is like dog is freaking out the entire time i'm just like uh there's definitely somebody in the basement now the thing is all our, our there's two doors, right? There's like a vestibule between our door that actually leads into the house and the door that leads into the basement because we share our basement with our upstairs neighbors, right? So this is why the door is unlocked. Now, I live in a very, very safe town. Like nothing happens here. So when anything happens, really, it's kind of news. Anytime any any sort of like serious, you know, violent crime happens, everybody's like, oh my god, in this town? I oh, I can't believe it. You know, I'm like, hmm. I mean I could believe it, but you know, it is unusual that anybody gets stabbed or shot or any anything of the sort. So I keep listening. I'm like to my to my girlfriend, I'm like, alright, so there's definitely somebody in the basement. I'm pretty sure it's not our neighbors. So we we just keep listening. We hear the guy just like shuffling around down there. I'm like some some is definitely awry then he comes back up the stairs to like what is our front door essentially and my guy starts knocking on the door and i'm like hey who is that and he's and then he starts shouting at me now the thing is it is the most garbled shouting i've ever heard in my life where like nothing coherent came out whatsoever it was very, very strange. Now, so both of us are like banging on the door. It, <laughs> this only takes like a few seconds. He he just like leaves the house after that. I'm like, okay, what what is this? <laughs> um, so we look outside the window, the window that like looks out onto our street, and we see this guy. This guy in a green shirt, kind of balding, you know, kind of oldish. Looks kind of sketchy, but you know, you don't necessarily want to judge. But look, he looked kind of sketchy. Let's be real. I mean, he was doing sketchy things. So we're just looking at this guy. He's on the street. He's he's looking at his phone. He looks very, very confused. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Why is this man in our basement? First of all, secondly, did he? Now I'm worried. I'm worried that we're being robbed, right? So I'm like, is there somebody else in the basement? I didn't want to go down yet. He, for all I know, he left his partner down there and he's just waiting to jump me or some shit, you know? But he looks so weird and confused when he's on the street. He's just like looking at his phone, like half looking like he's trying to escape, half looking like he doesn't even know where he belongs right now. So we just keep looking at him, you know, we record him. I'm like, hey, to my girlfriend, I'm like, hey, make sure you get like a good video of this. I I pull out my phone. I barely know how to use my phone because I, I'm not really a phone person. So I'm like trying to, I'm struggling to get the camera going. Uh, not the best for a tech person, but whatever. And like I said, I'm not not much of a phone person, but we start recording him. Then we see him. He walks back to the house, our house, and he comes back down into the basement. I'm like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> and then he leaves and then he leaves again. So as my girlfriend is observing him on the street, I open the door and I like walk down into the basement. I'm like, oh shit. There is the strongest smell of alcohol that a man could possibly leave. So I'm like, okay, this guy's drunk. Is he, does he need help? This, this, this is my next thought, right? Does he need help? But like, if he needed help, surely, you know, there's a word for that. It is called help. I mean, as drunk as you possibly be, I would think help could come out, right? Uh, 
It's one of our first words, words, I think. So my guy, he's just like standing in front of the house still as I like went and checked the basement. I just look around, I'm like, mm, okay, it's kind of weird. Okay, nobody's stabbing me yet. Thank God it's not my turn to get stabbed, you know? Gen generally speaking, you don't want to get stabbed. So, <laughs> and this all this is all the kind of thoughts going through my head because I'm from a, I don't want to call Trinidad Tobago crime, well, I should say Trinidad. I don't want to call Trinidad crime ridden, but you know, if anybody knows anything about Trinidad, it's kind of, a lot of places not safe. So I kind of expect, like, if somebody is in my house, they're up to no good and some fucked up is about to happen to me. But like, he's just out there. And at this point, we're like, we're kind of just like observing him again. And I'm like, wait now, at no point during this entire affair, which has lasted like 10, 15 minutes, did I even consider calling the police? Because why would I? I just, I have like no expectation of the police to do anything. <laughs> but, but I was gonna go confront him. Like, so I think I'm, I'm sitting down there, I'm like, hmm, what do I wanna do? I don't like that this guy's in our basement. I'm not gonna go back to sleep, obviously. It's like some, some, something needs to be done with this man. Now, do I go and confront him? Do I actually call the police? I like sit, think about it. I'm like, you know what? I'll call the police. Call the police, describe, describe like what the man looks like, you know, balding, oldish guy, middle-aged really. Green shirt, etc., etc. right? One, the one detail I kind of regretted at the time saying, I was like, I smell the alcohol because then I don't know what I, you know, I don't want anybody to just necessarily just get like even more fucked up if they needed help. Because in my head, I'm still thinking like, is this a neighbor that could possibly need some help? You know, you know, you give them a little bit of benefit to the doubt. I, I like, I know my general neighbors, but like, I'm not going to necessarily recognize every single person, right? Obviously. But the dispatcher is like, okay, we're going to get somebody out there soon. It'll be a few minutes. You just keep looking you know stay inside whatever show sure, whatever I, I, i'm not gonna go outside the guy's fucking drunk if i go outside all of a sudden he's just like starts fighting me he's like who is you who are you you're in my house you know one of those things where like they don't even know where they are um so it takes a few minutes and then the police lights show up i'm like okay the police are actually doing something but it takes them a while to actually get to my house where they because at this point the guy has like left the front of my house so i can't see him anymore so the police officer pulls up i see him you know scoping out the front of our house i'm like hmm, first of all that's not even the real entrance to, to my part of the house but whatever i, I was like kind of hoping he didn't wake up our neighbors because that suck it's like 2 a.m at this point i don't know it's, it'd be kind of sucky to be woken up when you don't need to be so eventually i i come outside i meet mr officer he's like hey i'm like hey now one one detail i didn't let you all know I am very, very high. <laughs> like, so high that this is why I kind of like questioned if I smelled alcohol or not. Because I was like, I don't, like, I don't remember. I'm, I'm too high. I, I don't remember if I actually smelled alcohol, if I just made that up. And it was like three seconds ago. Holy shit. Not the best time to have an intruder. Not gonna lie. But I'm talking to the police officer. I'm, you know, telling him like what happened. The whole thing about like him being in the basement, all, us shouting at each other, him banging on the door. So we both go down in the basement and we're looking around. I'm looking around I'm like, hmm, is there someone still down here? I'm still assuming there's someone still down here because I'm not entirely sure what is happening yet. Even though like, I think he's just like a drunk guy, but you never know. So I'm like scoping out the situation. I'm like, hmm, nobody's in our basement. Nobody took anything. There's nothing really useful in my basement besides like boxes of, of complete nonsense. So even if you steal something, like what are you going to steal, right? Steal our fucking laundry, I don't know. But yeah, we look around, the officer asked me if I want to leave a statement, I'm like, no, no, and he, then he tells me, he's like, yeah, that's just like a drunk guy with mental health problems, I'm like, yeah, definitely don't want to press charges for breaking and breaking in or anything like that, like, I'm not gonna fuck up some guy's life just because he apparently doesn't even understand where he was, or I'm not entirely sure what he was doing because the officer never told me, they just kind of like, he detained him and that was it but yeah and that's basically it it was so weird the, it's like the worst possible time to be high is when somebody's breaking into your house because you have like no idea what is going on oh god it was uh definitely a interesting way to spend the night and for the rest of that night i didn't sleep because i was like i i don't know 
I'm, I'm already kind of really anal about my house. So, and I mean, I rent, but still, when I eventually own a house, I'm going to have like infinite security cameras, you know? I, again, grew up in a crime ridden country. So a little bit sensitive to that sort of thing. Like I know, like some people I know, they have break-ins and they will like confront the person and shit with a bat. I'm like, dog. I would expect to be shot in that situation, not gonna lie. I mean, I, I live in Canada, right? So people have a different, uh, they have a different perspective on, on certain things. And one of those things for me, I realize now is crime. Uh, yeah, there's no way I'm walking out there with a bat. I, I need something a little bit stronger, but luckily they need to do anything really. Just like observe the guy, watch him, make sure he's not up to you know no good but yeah that was our little house break in it was um the most eventful thing that's happened to me in this town for the five years i've, I've lived in it kind of glad it was not actually that eventful in the end thank god so let me know if you guys had any encounters with uh some strange people in your houses probably do uh every now and then you might get somebody poking around in your uh basement in your garage uh, let me know in the comment section below so like this video if you liked it the rest of this video is gonna be just me building doing some more base building it's from my live stream so there's commentary as well and i will see you guys soon all right so take care i mean i really like this hexagon shape what i don't like is how this looks i also feel like i might have to replace this mid wall as well but you know we could we do the replacing the walls part is not really that hard. But wait, we have this small alloy triangle. How does that? Ooh, not good. I was gonna say, how does that look? The answer is it doesn't. It turns out. Like for example, you know, like I saw a bunch of um, firefighters today. I guess there was a fire. That's why they would be there. And like, you don't feel any hate towards firefighters at all because they don't prey on you. The only thing firefighters do is save, you know, save your house when you fucked up and you put a candle next to a curtain. Don't do that. So yeah, we're gonna have to come back all the way here. All right, that's fine. I know what we should do. We should just build here. And once we do this, once we fill in this side, the pattern will become obvious, I believe. Man, the amount, of, the amount of times I have had people ask me if I was British. <laughs> it's like, what? But I remember one time, like a few years ago, I was playing um, CSGO and somebody asked me if I was Norwegian. I was like, um, how are you so far off? We have some semblance of a base coming together now. Look at that. Look at that. I don't think we even need to turn the staircase. Although it does look weird with this wall. Oh, but once we replace the wall, it'll be fine. So whatever. You know, at some point, this is going to be how people build their houses in real life. They're just going to do this in a CAD program. Game, please. <laughs> yeah, they're going to do this in a CAD program. And then a giant 3D printer is going to come out of the air and this 3D print their house. I guarantee that's gonna be a thing. But I do wish these would connect. Like, that's obviously what I would want. I don't like that it's like these single panes. It looks like you're in a fucking plane. I don't wanna live in a plane. I don't even like being in planes. There's nothing worse than going to a plane and seeing that the person who's sitting down next to you is the same size as you. I don't want anybody like lot, fucking six foot two going into a plane. Yeah, God, I want like some tiny Asian lady. That's that's my ideal seat partner. Preferably as old as possible so that you know they're definitely not going to talk. <laughs> uh. Me and my girlfriend were talking about this the other day. We were just like, we both agreed. Tiny Asian lady is the ideal playing um, seat partner. Definitely not giant black man like I am. Although I am, I am very courteous. Not gonna lie. So I would, I would still make a decent seat partner. There's those people that will like try to take up 
five elbows and shit like that. It's like, um, how are you even taking up this much space? I was thinking, do I want to do like a T and then have like three more domes? You know? Make it look like this is actually an extension of this, but this one is like our main part with a bunch of space. And we might need more space than this. I don't know yet. I don't really know how much you need in terms of a No Man's Sky base because we still haven't put like stuff like the ship landing part, pod, pad that will be up here. More like the ship landing pad will be like coming out of here. So maybe we come down probably with a staircase or we could even have the ship landing pad not even be on the ground. We probably don't want anything on the ground. So yeah, the ship landing pad will have to like come out of here and then float. Yeah, that's that's definitely the move. Like you see now, it looks like this part is an, an extension of this part instead of me just like sticking it on like some sort of maniac. That was the goal from the beginning. All right, so this is what we have so far. So I actually really like the the upper design. It looks kind of it looks like an actual space base, and then down here, solid progress. Yeah, dog tanks. Down here we have something that looks like it's actually an extension of the above one, and then these this will be like some main section. I don't know what we're gonna have in here yet. I'm gonna have to decorate the outside of it as well. We're not gonna just gonna have plain walls. It's, that looks kind of meh. 